Holy crap, we're doing this again. Hey guys, Jeremy here, reading off your guys' comments about what you said for my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 14. I'm almost flubbing this before we even get out of the gate. If any of you forgot about this, don't worry, so did I! So just like all those other times, I'm just gonna be reading your guys' comments, and I'm not gonna go through the replies, because there's way too many hell of a, like, 56 goddamn comments in this video, so thank you guys for commenting. But before we start, I'm trying to get my buddy, Cinescence, or Emilio, over 300 subscribers. If you guys enjoy a Let's Player who's funny, who's also down to earth, also is an artist, has some really cool and genuine and grounded takes on life and just fun things in general, so check him out and please subscribe to him. We're trying to get him up to 300 subscribers before his spooky October night stream, which is where he does a stream for BC Cancer Foundation. So make sure to check that out too. All right, so let's start. I completely agree with you, man. This episode completely sucks. They're both behaving like they used to do, you know? They were behaving like they were used to do. Yeah, pretty much. Right. This season. Terrific. Remember when this sh show had meaning? 90% of the fandom apparently doesn't. That is true. That's a heart there. So now even milkshakes take out angels. I can't even. Well, at least Jensen seems to be having fun. Good for him. As dumb as this episode was, that comment was really funny, so I'm gonna heart that. This season has been bad. They have so much stuff to tie up, and Andrew Dad, I guess Dab, is writing funny filler episodes. I'll take Game of Thrones handling the way of the show is going to end. Now, to be fair, Game of Thrones, aside from some absolutely horrible writing, by the way, I've got some pumpkin pie here. I'm gonna be eating this in between some of the takes. Aside from absolutely terrible writing, that final season had a fantastic production value. Camera work was great. Acting was decent, even though the, 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 the script was stupid. The, the fight scenes and everything, the production was great, even if it, some of it was in the dark. And the dread returns, Jeremy. Prepare yourself to have your brain ripped out. Well, that's pretty... Ooh, that's... Yeah, I don't know about that. Jeremy, these are the plot holes that have yet to be resolved. Probably more, but yeah. Lucifer being awake in the empty. Yeah. Empty slash death relationship deal thing. Killing Amara. Cast his promise to the empty. Killing God. Heaven losing power because almost all the angels are dead. Reflection on 15 years and such. So they spent an entire episode on this. Admittedly, the whole heaven losing power thing actually is bothering me because that was a big thing to reveal and they've done nothing with it it's such a huge thread that they just discarded and i don't know why because it it's a pretty big deal at least in my opinion a little part of me died when i saw dean wearing a nightgown in this episode god damn what happened to supernatural thank god i watched the final episode of the boys season two on the same day now that's what i call quality tv that actually was a pretty damn good season uh finale i didn't i thought the season was okay but the season finale was fantastic i don't know if we get that from supernatural that one. <laughs> also, always enjoy your reviews and point of view. Sorry to hear that IMDb is so toxic. I liked you. I like that you have a different take and opinion on the show. You actually hold it up against standards of quality, writing, character development, etc. It's unfortunate that the majority of the fan base just eats up whatever is given to them with no sense of how far the show has been allowed to fall into absurdity. I, I, I just try to see it as it is, mainly because I have such a vivid memory of how the first five seasons were. Sometimes I wish it were illegal for people to murder good TV shows, like Dab should be sent to the naughty corner at least. Uh, I and possibly seasons 1 to 5, we should be able to file some kind of restraining order from seasons 6 to 15. Thanks for the reviews. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say it's illegal. It's just bad writing. It's just bad creative ideas. It's happened for years and years and years. Supernatural is not the first one to have it happen to. I do like the naughty corner, though. I'll give a heart just because of <laughs> the idea of Dab going in the naughty corner. Jeremy Adams equals Scooby-Doo. If they hadn't done Scooby Natural, he might not have made it onto the writing staff. This was probably the most childish episode that the show has ever done. Watching a show from its earlier golden years and then watching its current season, I think you'll notice more of what's wrong with the current season less enjoyable. I thought this episode was just okay, but then again, the last episode I watched was Destiny Child months ago. I thought it was way too late to have a good a wood nymph show up, and I thought the bunker had some kind of restart at the end of season 12, but I don't know. They continue to refer to the angel Anel as Joe. So obviously they don't give a shit. The consistency of the show is just... I don't understand why this episode came up. This must have been an idea they had maybe in the background, but it seems so inconsequential. Man, I just watched Supernatural, the animation series during the break. It's so cool and give a huge gap ahead of any episode starting from season 8 until now. Oh, it's better than season 8 until now. Again, I, I gotta watch it eventually. 
If this episode were in the other seasons, it would be great, but we are in the last season. Ah, I can't agree to that. This was really bad. If this episode appeared in season five, it would just be like a complete dip in quality. If it was in that season, I would have given it a one. The show Bewitch had a better episode on a wood nymph. They need to step up the story details like earlier seasons. They just need to step up everything, people. I miss when Sam was a silent but serious type. Nowadays, he's all feelings and bullshit. <laughs> uh, he's not that. I would more so say that he does the exact same things in all of the episodes now. He's just kind of the, hmm, what do we do about this? And then just kind of makes this, <laughs> well, <sighs> kind of face and then dean too actually something i didn't mention in the review you notice how he says we do what we got to do several times in the episode i remember hearing that and be like you don't know how at all to handle this you just you're just having him say that just the most basic writing garbage ah this pie is really good though i mean i personally disagree but i respect your opinion and if this person is someone that agrees with me most of the videos sure but particularly if it's someone who doesn't agree with me most of the time, I appreciate that because that is what I'm trying to do. I'm more so just trying to give a open discussion about this show. Yeah, it, it's not as great as it used to be. I know there's still a, vev a vivid fan base for this. You're all almost on the side of lunacy, I would almost say that you don't see any issues with it, but that's if you go and see the IMDb ratings that don't do it, don't do it. Supernatural is a joke in comparison to what it was before, but I have to stick it out as I got this far. You know what? That's 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 me, baby. That's me down to a fault. Please don't fault yourself for rewatching previous seasons. If I didn't do that this season, I wouldn't remember why we were watching this terrible show. Yes, pitch perfect point about the level of immaturity and the complete lack of agency. These guys would never save the world, but by glaring contrast, their ma marginally more mature three-year-old son could. I suspect that this is the purpose. Man, just seeing Jack back again, is like, oh man, I can't. I, I, I just, I just can't get into this character. After we saw him have an actual pulse with the demon guy who possessed him at the beginning of the season, I can't go back, man. It's just, it's terrible. He's so deadpan. You should see my Facebook and my opinions about the current season. People are telling me that I'm a fake fan and I don't understand the series. What is there to understand though? This show stopped making sense around season five. From my memory, it still is okay-ish up until season 11 and I thought season 11 was really good and then after that it just fell off the cliff. But yeah, that was me throughout all of season 12. Especially when I started to have differing opinion. Like, God, if you want to go back and take a look at my video of what will happen in season 13 of Supernatural, oh man, that's a huge dislike for me. It was at that point where I realized that the fan base was like slightly a little bit crazy. I enjoyed this episode as a fun episode. We need a break from all the extra crap, and I disagree that Dean isn't like that. He is in certain scenarios, so that's why his comedy works. See Scooby-Doo episode or earlier season episodes. And no. Dean has never been this childish. This was a whole new level of like acting like a little baby. Yeah, it makes sense as to how he's been in the last few seasons. Yes, but previous seasons, no, especially the first five. Like I, like I said, I was watching season three just before I came back to this. So no, it's it's not the same. But I do agree with you about we all need to break from the crap going on right now actually for that i'll give it a heart yeah i enjoyed this episode because it had some cute moments and lighthearted before we headed into the darkness that comes next and i love that sam kept molnir yeah but that was that was just for fan bait let's be honest here that was just for fan bait but of course there's something every few moments that undermines their character growth from earlier seasons and i don't forgive the writers for that either why not both you should read some of the spoiler tv comments there's both negative and positive mostly negative comments on that one anyways i digress actually, i actually don't know what spoiler tv is so i'll have to check that out this episode was more cute and fuzzy rather than a good storytelling one Adams and Dabs are good friends, which makes sense as to why he has him on the writing staff, but he's written 98% kid shows, which are easy to write. So it makes sense as why this is a lazily written episode, writing an hour long episodes as opposed to a half hour long one. It is clear he is a big Supernatural fan though. Things to fix make this episode somewhat good. Ditch the cartoony shit, focus more on Jack's moral dilemma, keep the monster of the week but have her so overprotective that she wants to kill them. Then actually kill her at the end. Then Sam and Dean and Jack can have their chat about whether they forgive Jack for killing Mary. And keep that cute little scene at the end where Dean makes Jack a birthday cake. There, fixed. By the way, 
Why aren't they letting Jack and Sam interact more? This pisses me off. If there's anyone that Jack could relate to the most, it would be Sam, who also lost his soul, did terrible things, and got it back. Anyway, my rant for the day. Actually, that is totally true, because Sam was the one who was protecting Dean for the longest time. I know Dean is supposed to be, like, the father figure, but Sam has been the father figure. Cass has been the father figure. I don't understand the connection between Dean and Jack, why it's so prevalent when Sam is just so relegated to being a cliff note character. And considering Jack is supposed to be this big, important character, I agree, actually, in terms of how this episode should be restructured. Like, this is actually a really good idea. This is a good way to do it. Because it was just a filler episode, in all honesty. Like, they try to shove this little bit of story element, like, this tiny little bit at the very end, but that should have been the main focus, considering the gravity of what's happening, and this is the fact that this is the last seven episodes. I also blame the director. Even the actors were off. The entire thing felt like a rough cut. Some scenes between Sam and Dean felt like a read-through, while in others it was over the top. Worse is that it had a, Sco a Scooby-Doo cartoon ending, but more than that, it had no ending. There was no ending. Normally the ending would just oppose their harsh reality with moments of fun and normal normalcy that they experience, but this is bordering on Disney Family Channel. This show had some fantastic writers in the first five seasons. I don't understand why they haven't been able to replace their talent with suitable writers for the genre. Honestly, it it's a complete and utter oddity as to why the show is still going. That's kind of it too and they've definitely lost money and people just want to move on right i respectfully agree to disagree but i definitely enjoy this channel because it's more than just dealing with people who agree with what i say and i can understand why people have issues with post season five supernatural i would rather have engaging discussions and understanding rather than everybody feel the, the way as i do Totally understand where you're coming from. And I'll give that a heart too, because that's all we're wanting, people. That's all we want. We just want to have a nice discussion, some really delicious pie, about the show that we like and we really hope doesn't take a giant shit on itself for the final season. There's definitely some poo-oos happening, but maybe it might not end badly. And that's it. That's all you guys' comments. And I'm all out of pie. Man, make sure to give me them again when I do my review for episode 15, which, again, I can't say whether I'm going to do that live. I don't think I will be able to. But, as well, make sure to check out Cinecins. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. Let's get that guy over 300 subs already, right? All right, thank you for your comments. Thank you for letting me do this, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.